We'll be using Google Docs for the entire course um, for basically presenting your work. You're going to show me images that are put into a, a Google Doc format and I'm getting you used to using Google Docs as a way of transmitting files back and forth, projects back and forth, images back and forth. So Google Docs is going to become a very inherent thing to use. To get started, you have to go to google.com and make yourself a new Gmail account. Uh, if you already have one, good. But this is for students that do not have that. Okay, so I'm going to sign out. And go gmail.google.com. And here it's going to say, add an account. Create account. Pick something very um, open. Uh, let's say you're a college student and you're going to be a college student for a long time. I would suggest first name period last name period edu at gmail.com. Uh, it becomes a very uh, easy thing to remember and use. It looks very professional when you go to email somebody as a student. Uh, oftentimes when I find that I'm using my Google account to conduct work, um, I'm not ashamed of my Google account being used because of that. Uh, so, just kind of think of that. So, you are going to fill out all that information, and I would highly suggest you use your mobile phone and a current email address. That way, if you do lose the username and password, you can recover it. Once you are inducted into Google, you'll find that there's this little square up here in the corner. So I'll just go to Google. And here's that little square. In there, you have Drive. And what I'm going to do is install Drive to this computer. Now, I already have Drive on this computer, so I would say I'm not going to really physically do this. But having Drive on your computer is really nice because if you go to computer, you can see Google Drive. Here's all my folders on Google. So anywhere I go, all these files are there too. But having a backup is a nice feature. So anytime I make a Google document, technically it puts it on my hard drive here. So if anything ever happened to Google, which I have never seen, it allows you to have a backup copy here. All right, let's say I create a new document, like a new physical document. Now I have all the power of a word processing program like Microsoft Word that travels with me. So, there we go. Now you can add links. You could just type up your paper. You could present ideas. I can insert um, images. Just like that. If you are like looking for an image, let's say I'm asking you for a picture so I can get an idea where to help you. Well, let's say I had a problem with Blender, for example. I could go like this, go to Start, go to Snipping Tool, click and drag, take a picture of it, and here's my Pen Tool. I can say question about this thing <laughs> and I can go edit copy and in my Google document I can go control V that's control Victor having a hard time with this idea 
Oop. There we go. Now, if you want to share that to with me in, in an email, all you do is have to go share. And you can type in mine. Jason period Welsh period edu at gmail.com. And I can edit it or view it. Another thing you could do is let's say you just want to grant me a link. Here, get shareable link. Go to the advanced tab and change this to um, public on the web. Then you can copy this and you can paste that in an email. If you ever need to go back to your email, I would just have this. Compose. And you'll notice the more you use Google, the more you're going to have these very quick ways to get your email addresses without even kind of thinking about it. Because it remembers everybody in your circles and everything else over time. Help. Now having this in your email is a lot easier. I can also right click and paste that image. Whoop. I can paste that image right from uh, the actual snippet tool itself into an email if I want to do that too. So if you didn't want to go the Google Doc approach to that just that one email you can just paste it right here in the actual email itself. That's another way to do it. But because Google is so inherently on the web, it, it allows you to quickly move that picture onto uh, an email like that very quickly. All right, so you just like do that. That's how you can communicate with me visually. That's one way to do it. So this is what you'll need is a Google Doc account. Um, please sign up. And that's how you, that, that's the 101 of using it. But trust me when I say that just opened up the rabbit hole. Uh, you should explore a little bit of what newfound powers that you have. And I would start with Drive. Alright, have a good one, and until next video.